everyone. Welcome to our Good Asian Real Fast cooking class. I'm, a Mel I'm Melissa Lim, and um, I want to begin our class actually by showing you a few tricks that I have um, for meal prep to get your week well underway. Um, if you're one of those families that is uh, rushing home, wondering what's for dinner, and sometimes may be tempted to find um, some other shortcuts, things that are already prepared for you or to pick something up along the way home. I want to just share with you a couple ideas that can help make um, some weekday meals a lot faster and a lot easier when you take the thinking out, you're less tempted, when you're, when you're prepared rather, you're less tempted to go out and find alternatives in the middle of the week. It just takes a little bit of planning at the, at the top end of your week, whatever day works for you, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, follow a meal plan if you will. Pick a few dinners at least. I, you know, sometimes even just pick, picking three is great because you can cook a double batch and have leftovers. And I like to sometimes find things that have similar ingredients so that my shopping list isn't too huge. Uh, sometimes I even shop just according to what's on special. And then I take it home and I, uh, I take a look at what I can do with it this week. So an example here um, is I, when, when something's on special, like chicken, I bought all these pieces for just a little over $10 that's going to be my go-to and I look well what can I do with that so I can make Asian lettuce wraps with that and I could make curries with that and pad thai with that and I could make chicken souvlaki or fajitas you can use your imagination now what then I would suggest is portioning that out and even seasoning it ahead of time and packaging it up so that when you come home on Wednesday for example then you have um, your meal ready to go um, the other thing you can do is make your dressings and any sauces that you might need ahead of time for the week so they're already prepared in the kitchen. Sometimes just an extra two or three hours on Sunday can take, save you so much time and stress during the week. Um, that all, A lot of these tips are shared in our Good Food Real Results program. The shopping list, the meal plans, if, you, if you're one to like to follow lists, then you could definitely use what's in here as suggestions for substitutions if you're looking for an alternative such as our Asian lettuce wraps are recommending the ground meat, but I decided this week I saw that the chicken breast was on sale, so I'm gonna make it with chicken breast instead of ground meat. Um, same thing I can find along in our, in our menu book, the, the same recipes for um, tacos or fajitas, so I'm gonna portion some of that out and set it aside for my fajitas later this week um, by just putting them into fajita strips and using a taco or a fajita seasoning, or if I, Got the family voting on something else we could do souvlaki and have greek ready so those are some options for you before we get into a cutting the chicken and contaminating i'll show you how to make the um, salad dressings now the salad dressings that we have are super simple and our crew it has measurement marks already on them so it saves you having to dirty uh, multiple things um, this time i'm just going to cut the recipe in half because i only want a small portion um, a half portion of the recipe, which is always on the jar. And all of our jars always have the basic recipe and then a couple other ideas of what you can do with it. So I used rice vinegar and halving it. I've got a quarter cup there started. And then it's asking for a um, tablespoon. It's actually always easier to put your dry ingredients through the funnel first. One tablespoon. Of our seasoning. So that's our Epicure 4 in 1 spice spoon, which fits deep down into all of our jars and has four different measurement markings um, depending which part of the spoon that you are using. So that's our sesame ginger dressing. Um, to go with an Asian meal, you could also try our miso ginger dressing, which is coming from our enhanced nutrition line, um, me meaning that there's going to be some extra nutrition in this and it's not using oil, it's using actually orange juice. You're getting a little extra boost of vitamins if you went that way. Both are really, really lovely flavors. So going back to our sesame ginger dressing, what we're adding following the directions next is going to be three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And there's a lot of um, you know, debate around about what's the best type of oil to be using in the kitchen. Um, something like Grape seed oil, for example, is a great choice, or avocado oil. Just a bit of a cleaner choice, a cleaner oil. Okay, so there was that. And I believe we need one and a half of soy sauce. I'm just going to double check. 
And when I choose soy sauce, I like to go for the lower sodium versions. You know, that might not be enough of that saltiness for you. That's okay, up to you. But that's uh, a choice. You have control of that. So there's one tablespoon. And uh, I need half. I'm just going to go there for a second. Half a tablespoon. Now, when you're making these, of course, you could make double the portion and, and let it last. It will last about a couple of weeks for you in the refrigerator. What's interesting about the salad dressing compared to, say, the store-bought salad dressing is that there's no water in here. Oftentimes, when you get a store-bought salad dressing, the first ingredient is water. It doesn't matter. Even if when you're spending money on the expensive organic brands, check it out. I challenge you to check it out. Most of the time, you're actually paying for mostly water. So you can have... A dressing that's really well concentrated with tons of flavor, clean, and you only need a little bit because it's not watered down. So you just shake it before you need it because it will tend to separate because again it doesn't have the chemicals in here that are preventing it like you would in a fine you're buying pre-made at the grocery store. Uh, keep it in the fridge, take it out a little ahead of time. Great for a uh, salad during the middle of the week. You can make your salad bowls ahead of time again, or you can do them in mason jars, and just put your dressing in the very bottom of the jar before you go, and then when it's lunchtime, flip it over, and there you go. So that's a great tip. We've got a whole bunch of um, different salad dressings in our product lineup, from Greek, raspberry, um, Caesar, Italian, balsamic. Oh, gosh, there's, uh, there's a couple more I'm forgetting right now. They're all really awesome. So... The next sauce we're going to prepare for Asian lettuce wraps is a wasabi ginger aioli. Okay, now this is a, our mini prep bowl which has measurement markings on it already, and I've just filled it up with half a cup of um, half that mayo. And uh, to this, we're going to add what the recipe calls for on the jar, which is a little bit of lemon. So I've just cut it with our ceramic knife. The ceramic knife, by the way, is beautiful, um, sharp knife. I'm going to cut the chicken with it as well in a minute. And uh, it goes through everything beautifully, especially tomatoes, which tend to be a challenge. And if you're chopping up things like apples for your kitties, who don't like to see them brown, this is a way that's going to slow down the oxidization process, so they won't close brown. So you just need a splash of um, lemon juice in there, just a tiny bit. Um, perks up the flavor. Again, when we're using citrus, this sometimes making up for the lack of salt. It teases our brain and pulls out the flavors so they pop a little bit more. Um, and our wasabi ginger aioli um, is going to go into here. So we just need half a tablespoon of that because I'm making half a portion. So again, with our jars, you'll see that a little bit of our seasoning goes a long way. That jar is going to last us quite a long time. So when you've got this dip ready, or any of the dips ready. You can put them in your refrigerator and they're good to go for the week. Um, again, you can use these on salads. You can mix that into tuna salad, for example. Um, uh, sandwiches, wraps, toppings on potatoes. You know, they're good to go. So just make as much as you think you need for your family. Um, but when you've got them ready, you're less tempted to go out grabbing other things. And you can see, all of our things will take seconds to make. Just seconds. Follow the instructions on the side and you're good to go. These uh, little little bowls with, like I said, the measurement markings are on them, come with also silicone lids. Okay, so that's great for storage, airtight. That is microwave safe and oven safe, um, freezer safe. It's, it's great for storing. All right, so let me show you a little bit more with our, um, as I promised, our, our knife. And because we're doing Asian lettuce wraps, I'm going to make them sort of tiny pieces of chicken because uh, we we're saying, assuming it's like uh, ground beef. So we're going to make them nice and thin so it makes it easy to wrap up. You can see just simply ceramic knife is going through our chicken really easy. I can make them even finer if I want, okay? So nice tiny pieces. If I were to be cutting up um, for my fajitas, I could do a strip, a longer, wider strip or we could even go lengthwise like that. So it depends on what you like for your, for your pieces. Uh, when I do souvlaki, I like to do them into cubes. And so whatever it is that you're preparing, just cut them to size, use freezer bags or Ziploc containers, okay? So I'm gonna put some inside here because tomorrow I'm gonna be cooking a stew. 
and so actually a curry stew. So that will be totally ready to go um, for our curry stew. Um, and what I could also do if I was having, say, to leave dinner for my family, I'm not coming home, I'm going to be late from work, for example, is I could actually store it directly in our multi-purpose steamer and uh, put them already in here. Put your seasonings in there too. Store it with a lid on and you can leave a little note. You can microwave your chicken breasts in about three or four minutes depending on your uh, microwave and how much you've put in. Sometimes it needs a little bit more time. But you know, even a teenager, um, a young adult can manage that on their own without having to turn on the stove. So this is a great sometimes solution is actually cooking in the microwave. And the way that this is designed, it's safe, it's not toxic at all, and um, you're, you're just cooking meals in minutes. You can add your veggies to this as well. So a nice thing that you can do actually is put your ground beef in here if you were ground pork or chicken, whatever, if you were doing Asian lettuce wraps, and use our, our drip tray that comes with it, and put the ground beef on top, what will happen is all that liquid fat will come out the bottom. You don't have to worry about draining from the frying pan, which is often a tedious task when you're, when you're in the frying pan with, um, with your ground meat. So that's a nice um, strategy you can use is to store your food ready to go in the refrigerator and have a meal already seasoned. Someone just needs to press start on the microwave. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here so um, you can see then we'll move into an act my actual dinner time shortly where we're going to prepare the Asian lettuce wraps completely and put them all together. But I just wanted to share with you those basic tips on some meal prep to help your week go more smoothly, to save time and save money maximizing what you've got to work with. Thanks very much.